More and more, families are feeling weighed down by the chaos and clutter in their homes. What if there was a way to make your spaces happier? I'm Brianna Bosch, and we've spent years downsizing, simplifying, and realigning our lives to be more in tune with nature. We sold everything, bought a farm, and learned step-by-step step how to restore peace at home. Now I'm helping others do the same. Welcome to Lord Street! What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's make space as well again. Welcome to Holistic Home. Just as important as it is to work and to get the things done that we have to get done, it is equally as important to take time for ourselves to recharge, to reset, to disconnect, and to give ourselves a break. A lot of times we are sitting down to work and we do these marathon sprints of time at our computer, sitting down, sending emails, doing Zoom calls without taking that break. And really, our brains function better if they can do sprints of work and we intermittently break that up with some rest time. So here at the farm, we do this a lot. We do a lot of sprints. So in the spring, we do a sprint of planting, then there's a time of rest, then there's a sprint of harvesting, another time of rest, and then a sprint of seeding, and again, it continues to repeat. So we're not burning out at any given time. We're constantly giving ourselves that chance to take a break, to give ourselves a chance to recharge. So many of us now are working from home. Home has become kind of a place where we do a lot of things. And for many of us, we're doing our full-time jobs from our home space. So this can be challenging because what happens is those lines become blurred. All of a sudden, we're bringing our work home with us and we're bringing our home to work with us. So those things are becoming very hard to to separate and it becomes really difficult to take a break. So at the end of the night after dinner when we should normally be enjoying time with our family, maybe we're going back to our email because our office is just steps away. So it becomes even more important that we create that separation and we give ourselves the opportunity to separate from that work. Having a space where we can put all of our things aside that relate to our work is so important. What we tend to run into is we come home at the end of the day or we come into our living space, into our kitchen space, we spread out our papers, we have our laptop in one spot, and all of a sudden, our home space is now becoming infiltrated by our workspace. And so we're not able to dedicate and devote the time to our family and to our rest and to the connection with each other. Instead, we're being constantly bombarded by these images of things that we have to get done. If there's anything I've learned when it comes to running a farm, it's that there's a season for everything. As important as our work season is and our growing season and our bloom season, equally as important is the time when we are at home, the time when we are inside, we're recharging, we're lighting the fire, we're cozying up together, and we're spending time as a family. That season allows us to rest and recharge and be able to take on a new growing season with renewed energy and lots of excitement. Anne is an amazing woman. Not only is she an incredible entrepreneur, she started this business, Fish Kiss. She runs it, she's sourcing things domestically, which is something that's really important to us. She's also an artist. Hey, hello, hello guys, how are you? Good, how are you? We bought this house for the view. I knew that would get him <laughs> yeah, with this right. house. On board with getting this house. <laughs> well, let's go take a look at it. I wanna see the rest of your space. That sounds Come great. On in. So we've been here about 10 years in this house. And I knew that when we walked in that front door and saw the mountain view, he would just fall in love. I had already fallen in love with it at that point. When we first um, uh, looked at the house, it was kind of odd. It was orange and kind of yellow and a little weird inside. But when we, uh, I looked outside and saw the view, it was beautiful with the flat irons and the mountains. and. Long's Peak, and that's what kind of sold us on this house. So this is the space back here. And Bree, this is kind of Andrew and my mud room, laundry room, and then it also doubles as my workspace too. We're a serious workspace when you first walk into this space, and obviously this is your pass-through to your garage, so there's a lot of things. I see keys here. Honestly, 
This is the junk drawer. <laughs> and it sort of expanded into multiple drawers. Yeah, you would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, Plus, like nine junk drawers. Flashlight. Yeah, all um, that little all stuff little that just accumulates. Do when you're going outside. So maybe some, you know, baskets that would be helpful so that when you come in, you have a designated, you know, okay, mail goes in this one, keys go in here. Because in reality, you know, we want to make it look pretty, but it also needs to be functional because right. it's serving as, you know, four different spaces, really. We have this closet just full of shoes and it's exploding right now. But I'll be on a Zoom call and I'll, I'll be like, oh my goodness, I have to quickly like shove hide, in. yeah, shove it in. Close the door. Totally. Yeah. Well, it's great that you have doors because That's closing true. the door is always a good way to just kind of, you know, block for the back of that Zoom call. But it would be great if we maybe had some better organization in there for your sanity, just so that, because in the back of your mind, when there's, you know, at least for myself, when I'm trying to work from home and there's a mess somewhere in the area, it's just distracting. It's, it's stressful. Yeah, even if too. you don't see it, you know that yeah. it's there. So I think the more that we can kind of help you with some organization there, that would be helpful for your, your creativity yes. to, to kind of thrive a little bit more. I just use the office really to walk inside and leave all my stuff there, <laughs> my shoes, jacket, stuff that we leave the house with because it's right when you walk in the garage. So it's mostly her space for her office, but unfortunately I probably use it and it's kind of cluttered with all of our outdoor gear. Being an artist and having a space that doesn't feel inspirational is really a hard thing for someone who is so artistically minded like Anne is. So we really want to give Anne a space that feels more inspirational to her, somewhere where she feels like she can really express herself and come up with new creative ideas for her business. Fish Kiss is a company that I started that is all about the sentiment and the memories that we make as family and friends. The name actually came from the little fish faces I would give my nieces and nephews when they were really little, like this. <laughs> and I thought it was such a sweet, endearing thing. I wanted to create a company and products that sort of captured that same moment that we have with our family and friends. So started the business maybe about six years ago, but it was organic. And it started with me just sewing things actually in my workroom and playing with different fabrics. And what I realized is I love to draw and I needed to put that element into the products that I was creating. And that way I could capture locations or anything that would draw some type of sentiment when you're looking at a product. Ultimately, I want to be in the business of making people happy. And she's um, just started off really small and has a legit um, business that's all over the country. It's really incredible to see. And I wouldn't have been able to do it without him because when I was ready to leave corporate America, I went to him and said, well, do you think I should leave my job? It's a really good job. And he's like, yeah, go for it, do it. So if I didn't have his support, I wouldn't have this business right now. I'm excited to work with Bree because we actually have a lot in common. And I think when you are working with other creative people, it is so great because you inspire one another. And again, it's that whole team rooting for one another. And I'm just excited to be a part of Bree's creativity and have her share her gift with me. So as you come in from the garage, you walk right into Anne's workspace, which is a really difficult thing because not only is this a place for shoes and coats to accumulate and car keys and things that just get tossed on the table. It also becomes a space where laundry is accumulating, where laundry is being folded. And then at the same time, she's trying to separate and do all of her work in this space. So she's having trouble getting inspired, showing this space doesn't feel comfortable to her. We want to give her a space that feels more inspirational. Talk me through your workspace. Um, how do you use this space? I see a big screen. Yeah. This is my drawing tablet. And it's kind of nice because it actually, I can do it all different angles. I can even draw on it standing. Have and my you draw pen. your designs on. Yes. So this is a key part of your workspace. It is. 
Do yes. you have a computer that you use as well? So you have a laptop. Okay, but that's this nice because you right can there. tuck it away, you can close it. Yep, take okay. it in my backpack. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I usually get a lot of samples with my products. So it's a lot of different things. It could be fabric, it could be paper samples. I'll even get um, you know, product samples. And I just don't know where to put them all. Keep them. Yeah. Do you want to have them out on display or do you like to kind of tuck them away and have them hidden? I think I like a little bit of both. It depends on if it's a new sample that I'm really excited about and I want to keep looking at it, keep thinking on it, even draw to it. And then others, I need to tuck them away just for reference later. So I can see that if you have maybe some samples out on your desk, you might be inspired creatively to do some unique design for it. So I can see some things you want out, but would you be okay if we happen to maybe put them away, if they were easily accessible to take out and put away again? That would be perfect. Because I want to reserve the space for the drawing, because the drawing is what I'm doing all the time. So one last thing is this chair makes sound effects. And so when I'm on Zoom, people just hear their eh, 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 and they're like, what is that noise? And they think it's everything from like a baby crying to construction somewhere. And I'm like, yeah, no, it's my chair, carry on. So it's a little distracting for you when you're working, but also when you're trying to communicate on your Zoom calls or, or whatever conference calls, your chair is participating in the conversation, and it is. I noticed you have some green touches in the house. So you have some green chairs, some green in your living room. Is green a color that speaks to you? I love green, actually. Anything, because we live in Colorado, anything that's natural and more subdued colors, I love that. So green's perfect. Green is obviously one of the colors that, um, you know, psychologically green can actually help focus us and it can help spur creativity. Breaking it up a little bit, just, you know, not too dramatic, nothing too extreme, but just, a nice neutral sagey green, kind of like the pops you have in the rest of your house, might help pull in some of this chair and this textile and then just a little bit more, more creativity for you. Yeah, I, I would love to get some more life in here, absolutely. I hope that the space will become something that I can just walk into the room and just have a sigh of relief and feel like, oh, I'm coming in here and I'm gonna draw today and this is exciting. Right now it feels more like utilitarian and I'm just, ah, I gotta draw. I wanna be in that space and just unwind and let the creative sort of juices roll. When we moved to this farm, this shed was here and it was very uninspired. It had been kind of a holding area for these goats and these horses and bunnies and so it smelled a little funny and when we decided to save the barn and to move it to a new space and give it new life, it really made me feel like my business had a home, like it had a headquarters. And for Anne to have that same thing, I think is so important. One of the ways that I like to be intentional with my workspace is to be sure that I am getting rid of all the distractions when it comes to arranging my flowers. Obviously flowers are something that are near and dear to my heart, especially because they're grown here at the farm and we put so much care into growing them in a way that's sustainable and caring for the environment. So I want to be sure that I'm giving my flowers the attention that they deserve and being really intentional with my time. And in order to do that, I usually put my phone somewhere outside of my workspace. I make sure that it's not anywhere where it's gonna be interfering with my thought process or getting in the way of my creativity. So I put my phone outside the barn space. I come in here where this is sort of my sanctuary and I can just focus on being with the flowers and picking what's going to look best together. At home, if you don't have access to fresh cut flowers right out of your garden, we always recommend that you buy some from your local flower farmer. They're going to be grown with love and they're going to be super fresh and seasonal. Whenever we're putting an arrangement together, I like to use a variety of colors, but you can also stick with one color palette to make it a little bit easier. We like to pull in lots of different textures and different foliage to make it feel really interesting and exciting. 
So for spring, we like to use things like bulbs, lilacs, and sweet peas, which have the best scent. They're my personal favorite flower. So we're gonna be putting some of those into our arrangement today. Being intentional when I'm arranging my flowers really helps me to connect to what my purpose is and what it is that we're trying to do at the farm. For me, it's arranging my flowers. For you, it might be something different. There are so many ways to put your intentions into practice. It's okay to have a space that functions as more than one thing. You definitely don't have to have a dedicated space for everything, but if you're going to have a space that's serving as multiple purposes, what you really need is storage. So we're gonna focus on giving Anne some places where she can tuck some of her things away that she needs to do her job well. One of the other ways that we're going to bring some peace and some rejuvenation and some ability to recharge to Anne's space is to bring these bulbs into her room. So studies have actually shown that having plants in a space can actually boost creativity. They can also help you focus. And so we want to give Anne something that she can do when she needs to recharge just to look away from her screen and to see these beautiful bulbs that are about to bloom. One of the things that we're going to do to help Anne feel a little bit more inspired in her space is to frame these beautiful works that she has done. So we're going to bring it back to what it is that she's doing. We're going to showcase the beautiful work that she's done so that when she needs a break or she needs a reminder of what it is that she's going for, she can look at this beautiful work that she's done. Anne's style has a touch of glam. When we look at the rest of her house, it definitely feels like her and her touch is missing in her office. So we wanted to bring this in and this Phillips collection desk is a really nice way to do that because it merges these wood tones that they have working throughout their home with this beautiful, clear, acrylic, beautiful glam look that we're going to bring into her desk. It's not only gonna make her feel more at home in her space, it's gonna give her a better workspace and a work surface to use. Pair that with a beautiful, comfortable new chair and this accent wall that's going to give her eyes a break from all of that white and she's really going to feel more inspired in her space. My hope is that in having this new space, Anne is going to feel inspired to go for new things, to even shoot further, to really reach for what she can accomplish. Female entrepreneurs need so much support, and I think in having this new space, she's going to really feel empowered. One of the things that I like to do to make sure I'm keeping the air really nice and clear in our home is to open the windows for about 30 minutes a day. Even when it's cold, even in winter time, it's great to just get some clear air running through your home to prevent that kind of stagnant buildup of air. Things like our carpets, our rugs, and our furniture all put off VOCs, so as those accumulate in the air, it's great to just pop those windows open, get some circulation going, and it also makes your home smell better. Okay guys, we have been working on your office. It's really become a beautiful space. Tell me a little bit more. Let's just recap what the space looked like before. Well, it was pretty bland. There was no color and I love color. So it was actually kind of strange. I'm just real excited to see a real office space. Hopefully it'll be inspiring to, to see. We're excited. And welcome to your new office. Oh my goodness! Wow. This is awesome! That is so I can't cool. believe this is my house. Look at that table. <laughs> this looks amazing! It's a totally different space. Oh it's a different it's a layout. It's a totally different space. Oh, I can see the mountains. Oh, good. I might have to share this office. <laughs> Brie nailed it. Like, the desk, I started drooling. Oh my goodness, this desk. This desk is absolutely, this is the, the Philips Collection desk. So sustainably sourced. Uh, it has a beautiful acrylic leg. So it kind of ties in this glam feel that you have. And it also ties in the rustic, rugged feel that Andrew likes. And it goes with a lot of stuff in your house. Anne is so excited to see her space. And I love her reaction to the desk. 
I also really love to see her, the look on her face when she saw the pieces that we framed for her. That was a really personal touch and I think she really appreciated that. And then there's Fish Kiss. Fish Kiss is actually in my house now. <laughs> People actually get to see some of your work in the background instead oh. of looking at your shoe closet. This looks so good, Brie. Speaking of... I love it. Your shoes. We did fix up your shoe storage a little bit, so we made sure we got all of those up and off the floor. So let's take a look at the closet real quick. Whoa. Whoa. Wow. Oh, this is awesome. Look how organized that looks. We can actually... Oh, cool, there's little coat hangers now. Oh, there's coat hangers, that's great. And way more shoe storage, because you guys are active. You're outside, we're here in Colorado. We do things like rock climbing, we do mountain climbing, we do hiking and you know, all kinds of things. And so we do need a space for all of that stuff. So, you know- You can actually find them now. You can find them and you can and close the doors. And what you couldn't great before. is that this rack is so perfect because look how big his, his snowboard boots are. I don't know if this would fit. <laughs> shoe racks the boots like, that were perfect. spilling out onto the floor so you couldn't even close the doors. You know, now you can close those doors. And so while you're sitting here, you're not having to stare at this pile of distracting yeah. shoes and buildup of things and laundry. So, so I I wasn't sure about the wall color because in our whole house, our whole house is white or off white, and so when Bree mentioned, oh, let's put a green in here, I was excited, but I was like, how's oh, that gonna work? But it looks awesome. I'm so glad there is color because now it's not so blah. I just love everything, honestly. I love this piece the height of it and like that I can put all those samples in there but it actually looks good. And I think the height is is something to talk about so because we have these vaulted ceilings in here yeah. and this tends to happen with you know homes with vaulted ceilings is that if all the furniture is the same level all the way around it feels flat so bringing in kind of this height with this piece raising up the curtain rods a little bit raising up this artwork so it actually yes. feels like it bridges the gap between that high ceiling and the rest of the room. It makes it feel a little bit more grounded. This is so exciting. Oh my goodness, all this for storage was just so awesome because I just had like one basket on my desk and, and I just threw it all in and now I actually have like options to put things and sort them and, and all your samples and the things looks like that you a like fish to kiss keep. office there's a kit there's a fish that's giving you oh my gosh a, little kiss. a fish <laughs> This is beautiful. And so much room to put all of your paperwork. And you know, as a businesswoman, as an entrepreneur, we have so much paperwork. Hey, my shoes like, go here. No. <laughs> uh, no shoes in the console. No shoes. It's crazy because I never thought this much like options for storage could look so good because I'm just thinking, oh, you utility. Know. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is from the farm. So this is, these, here's some bulbs. So these are, you know, live bulbs. You can just keep them watered. It's a nice Ooh. little break for you while you're at your desk. You can look over here, take a nice so good. breath and get some fresh air and think about kind of how you can be more creative. My mom, because I was born in March, my, my older sister was always like, when's the baby coming, when's the baby coming? And my mom said, when the daffodils bloom. Oh. And so you didn't even know that, and that's... I didn't right. even know that, but you know, a so. lot of the flowers, that's what I love is these flowers that, you know, we get locally kind of bring us back to our past because they're so different than what we can buy at the store. It's like these daffodils and, you know, the lilac. And the, so I'm so glad that you love them. And, and it's something nice to think to just look at and take a break. And actually when these die, you can plant them right into your garden. So yeah, so then you'll be able to enjoy them every year. Oh, perfect. And I would have never thought to angle this desk this way, but it completely, I mean, it's so perfect because I can see out the windows still. It's, you know, enough space to walk around and get in and out. I just would have never thought to have done that. That's really cool. Right, and from actually from your chair now, you can see your mountain view, which is the whole reason that you bought this house in the first place. So instead of, you know, looking at your, your frosted glass window, you can now look at what really brought you to this home and, and to this area and, and feel more connected to nature at the same time. 
Totally, I love it. It absolutely does that. It says Colorado. Colorado it says rustic nature. Yes. It says get outside. I love it. You're so talented. Oh, Thank you so, so much. Thank you. you love it. I love it. I feel so relieved that I finally have a place that represents me and the product in this company that I have built from the ground up. It's so nice to be able to just, I've never had really a knee space in this location and it feels like I finally have that. I finally have representation of Fish Kiss. I mean, Fish Kiss is supposed to be about memory creating and inspiring and that sentiment and I didn't even have that in the place that I was trying to create those products but now I have it and I'm I'm excited to start drawing I gotta go draw something now my hope for Anne is that her business continues to thrive and that she feels like she has a space to call her own to sit down and focus but also to feel reinvigorated and recharged